So I've had a YouTube channel now for about six or seven months. And in that time, I've shared a lot of my experiences with uh, the carnivore diet and, you know, just low carb in general and so forth. And um, just shared a lot from my experiences and what I think about the diet and so forth. Um, but I haven't really shared a lot about myself. So I thought that in today's video, I would talk a little bit more about myself and give you the chance to uh, get to know me better. So like I said, I started the YouTube channel about six or seven months ago. At this point, I have been on the carnivore diet for over 16 months and uh, I've lost over 80 pounds and um, outside of the weight loss, there's been a lot of non-scale type of victories, right? Um, I've gotten rid of arthritis and joint pain that I used to have that was really bad. I had some mild depression that is gone. I have a lot more energy and, you know, feel like going out and doing things instead of just sitting on the couch and watching TV or playing video games or whatever, where I just wasn't doing anything. Um, also, I had AFib and I haven't had an AFib episode in over uh, 14, 15 months or so here now. Um, so well over a year with that. Um, and my blood pressure is lower than what it used to be. It, it's been better control and so forth. So a lot of different um, things that have improved with the carnivore diet. Uh, but um, that's not really the only thing about me, right? Like my life isn't just talking about the carnivore diet and so forth. So let's talk a little more about myself. Um, you know, I am... In my upper 40s, I'm actually going to, I'm 49, I'm going to turn 50 in just a couple months here. Uh, so, you know, hitting the big 50, so to speak. Um, I live in Virginia and um, my yard is about an acre and a half. Uh, it's a nice backyard, as you can see here. There are trees all around um, the sides and the back of the yard. The back, the trees go all the way to a road. And on the sides, uh, they kind of go to different houses. Um, I live like on the end of a cul-de-sac, so it's um, kind of a bit of a quiet neighborhood and a um, bit secluded with the trees and so forth. So I really like that. And, you know, this time of year, there's a lot of changing of the colors on the leaves and falling on the ground and stuff. So um, the leaves make it look uh, pretty outside and so forth. Um, so, you know, that that's kind of like the, where I live. Um, so, you know, my kids, uh, they're all in college now, moved out of the house at this point, um, at least for you know, during the school year and so forth. Um, when we first moved in this house, they were like between eight to 10 years old. So, you know, they really like the backyard, nice big backyard to run around and play and so forth. And, um, I have a son and two daughters and my son, I don't know, a few years into living in the house, we set up the basement for him as his bedroom. Um, so we kind of finished it up a bit and uh, made that his bedroom. Now he just moved out in August of this year. And um, right now I'm working on cleaning that up a bit and I'm uh, gonna make that into a man cave in the basement we've done a little bit with like flooring before it was just a concrete floor with some rugs, throw rugs in there. Uh, so we've done a little bit with the flooring, uh, repainted, and um, we're gonna actually, I think, add an additional uh, finished area in the back part of the basement, which will be a small bedroom. Um, my son can use when he comes back and so forth. And um, the, for the uh, man cave area, you know, we're going to have a fridge and like, you know, just like a small kitchen area without water. So it'd be like a fridge and freezer, uh, microwave, that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to have a table with some um, bar stools on it. So kind of get a bit of a sports bar type of atmosphere and multiple TVs down in that on the walls and um, a couch and you know, like a couple of recliners or regular chairs or something like that in there. 
um, and just making a nice like a man cave type of area, I guess, you know. Uh, for my daughters, uh, my one daughter, when she moved out, I created a computer room or a office for myself. Um, and it's funny because it's still got some of her stuff in there that she didn't take with her down to school. Um, but I, for the most part, I have my, you know, set up in there for work and also for when I do stuff here for YouTube and that. So this is kind of set up here a bit and um, this is where I do that. And when she comes back home, um, you know, there's there's another bedroom she can use or whatever as well. Um, because I do have two daughters that are right now out at school. It'll be interesting at Thanksgiving time. I think we're going to end up having all three kids back for like a day or two. Um, the two of them have to go back pretty quickly. So they'll only be here for like a day or two. And then my youngest daughter will be here, I think, for most of that week. Uh, but it'll be interesting having all three of them back home for a little bit. So I also, in terms of like hobbies, I have a couple of hobbies. One of the things I like to do is uh, collecting baseball cards. And the majority of my collection actually is from when I was younger as a kid, but I picked up some other things um, just in more recent years and so forth. So here's a little bit of my collection that I have. Um, you see, there's this case here. This is, I think these are 19, boy, I can't remember, 1994 or something like that. Um, I, I think it's 94 or 93, and it's a complete case of vending boxes. So I, it's uh, it's 24 boxes of 500 cards in each box, so whatever that comes out to. So thousands of cards just in that box that haven't, haven't even been opened, so it's kind of funny. Uh, most of the cards that I do collect are baseball cards. I do have some football cards and then a little bit of basketball and hockey, but the majority are baseball cards. Another hobby I have is fishing, and I really like to actually fish for catfish. Uh, so I got a couple pictures here and just showing some different catfish that I've caught <clears throat> in the last few years or so. Um, so, you know, fishing for me is a really relaxing thing to do. I like to get outdoors and, uh, you know, it, it's catfishing especially. Like, it's relaxing because, you know, you're sitting there and... Um, Sometimes you're waiting for a while, but then, you know, you, you get the bite and, and you got to struggle with the catfish trying to bring it in. And, you know, it, it's a big challenge. And I really like that part of the fishing. So I really like to do catfishing more than anything. Um, I will do some bass fishing as well and so forth. Uh, in terms of sports, you know, I, I'm almost 50 years old, so I don't really play a lot of sports anymore or anything do here and there. But um, I really like to watch football, especially college football. I'm a huge college football fan. I went to the University of Toledo, so that is my uh, main school that I like to cheer for. And then there's several other schools in college that I also cheer for. Alabama is a big one for me. Um, so I'm a big Alabama fan as well. My son is an Auburn fan, so that's always interesting uh, when that game comes on the big rivalry between Alabama and Auburn. Um, I'm also an NFL fan. Detroit Lions are my team. I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, so I became a Detroit fan in all sports, you know, Detroit Pistons for basketball, Detroit Tigers for baseball, Detroit Lions for football, Detroit Red Wings for hockey. So always been a Detroit fan. So definitely, you know, following the Lions, and uh, they're having a pretty good year so so far this year, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm sort of a, I guess you could say, a, a not huge fan, but a big fan of hockey, uh, particularly NHL, professional hockey. Um, and again, I mentioned Detroit. Detroit Red Wings are my team. I used to be a bigger fan of hockey, you know, going back to when I lived in the Toledo area and in Michigan for a little while. Um, I've been out in Virginia now for like 17 years and just not quite as big of a fan as I used to be, but uh, still a pretty big hockey fan as well. So there's some of the sports that I like. Um, you know, I was a youth football coach. My son 
grew up playing football, youth football, so I was coaching him a lot. Um, I was the youth football coach for, I don't know, probably like eight years or so. Um, I was a president of our uh, youth, youth Football Coaches Association in the county for several years. Um, and I also did youth basketball, where I was coached youth basketball for both boys and girls there for several years and so forth. So just some of the things that I've done in the past as well. Um, I think that pretty much is me and what I do. You know, I, I do like to play video games sometimes, not as much as I used to. Uh, now that I've been on the carnivore diet and have more energy, um, I just don't do video games as often as I used to. I go out and do things more often than, you know, what it used to be like. Uh, but I do play video games some. Um, you know, I, I was into the Red Dead Redemption and the RDR2 games, um, different sports video games. Like I like the NHL, EA Sports NHL game, the uh, Madden game. Uh, when I was younger, I used to play the college football game. And I know they haven't had that game for about 10 years now. Uh, but it's supposed to be coming out next year, so I think I'll probably get that game again and see how that goes. Um, you know, play some of the NBA games and that kind of stuff as well. So, you know, I, I'll play video games here and there a little bit. Um, nothing big or anything like I used to, though, because I used to sit around on the couch a lot and just watch TV or play video games. Um, so, you know, I still do it a little bit, but not as much. And, uh, you know, that that's pretty much me. So... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, getting to know me a little bit more. Uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, want to know more about me or whatever, just drop it in the uh, comments section in this video. And I'm usually pretty good about answering questions and so forth. Uh, if you could, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and share it on social media. And, you know, I'm looking forward to some upcoming uh, videos I got a uh, live stream I have actually this Sunday at noon will be with Dr. Tony Hampton. That's gonna be a great one. Uh, you know, try and make it to that one if you can. Uh, go to the link for it here. I'll have it in the description and um, you know, hit the notification button and that way it'll notify you when the live stream starts so that you can uh, you know get on and and chat with us and so forth and ask Dr. Tony Hampton any questions that you might have and whatever. So uh, looking forward to that one and some other, you know, live streams. I always have the Thursday live stream with Greg doing the uh, low carb football party. So hope to see you at some of those live streams coming up in the future.